Hello coin collectors out there. Welcome back to the Big D Coins channel. In this video, we're going to talk about rare Canadian nickels that you can find in your pocket change. So I've got a nice collection of Canadian nickels right here, ranging in all kinds of dates, a little bit different shapes and different sizes for each of them. The two coins that we're going to talk about primarily in today's video are the 1953 uh, no shoulder fold near maple leaf that's a real valuable one and the 1965 large beads canadian nickel now to qualify what coins we're going to be talking about we're going to talk about them dated 1953 and after that's what i set as my qualification for modern canadian coins that you could actually pull it out pull out of your pocket change that are gonna be worth some money. So Canadian nickels prior to 1922, so Canadian nickels made from 1870 until 1921, those are going to be worth more than face value, significantly more worth more than face value because those were made out of silver. Uh, chances are those have already been pulled out of circulation. But if you do find one that's 1921 or earlier, congratulations to you. You've got a silver nickel most likely in your hand. Also from 1922 up until 1952, those Canadian nickels had either George V or George VI on the obverse side of the coin. Then starting in 1953 up until today's date, we've seen Queen Elizabeth II on the obverse side of the coin. Now, what's pretty cool about the uh, front side of the coin is that she does age as, uh, as she ages, they do update the profile of her. So she starts off at a very young profile, and then in today's, uh, we see her, um, a portrait of her in her 60s, I believe. So let's get into some other details of the Canadian nickel. So most of the coins, most of the Canadian nickels that we're going to uh, show here are going to be uh, the nickel or mostly copper coins. So from 1965 until 1981, those are going to be 99.9% .9 nickel. Then from 1982 up until 1999, those are going to be 75% copper, 25% nickel. And the more modern ones that you're gonna find starting after 1999, such as this one right here, are going to be 94.5% steel, 3.5% copper, and a 2% nickel plating. So the plating, the coloring that you see on this coin is nickel, however, the core of the coin is steel. All right, let's move that one out of the way and let's uh, take a look at these two right here side by side. Actually, we're gonna look at it. We'll look at it like this so we can see the Canadian beaver in the back and then the oldest possible portrait of Queen Elizabeth II on the left. So the two rare Canadian nickels that I wanted to focus in on today's video uh, are we're gonna start off with the 1953 no shoulder fold near maple leaf. Now 1953, uh, those are going to be some very rare years because 1953 has two different obverses and two different reverses. So similar to the 1909 Indian head penny that we're talking about in a few videos back, because they split up during the year uh, into four different possible coins, the mintages on them are all very low. So if you figured the total mintage might have been that they were trying to average, might have been 5 million for that year. If you split it four ways, you have 1.25 for each year, and therefore those coins are going to be a lot more valuable. So the two different types of obverses that you will see are the first one is a distinguishable feature. Here is the uh, high relief version of the no shoulder fold. So um, with mine, you actually can't see it too well, but there's a shoulder fold similar to this one right here. See how there's a uh, fold in the, the clothing shoulder, right? Th the clothing covering the shoulder. Um, with this one right here, it's a little bit more worn out, but that's what you're gonna wanna look for. So the more valuable uh, obverse version is the no shoulder fold. So if you have a very clean coin and it doesn't have a folded shoulder to it, it's gonna be worth a little bit more money. And then, so if you can combine the no shoulder fold on the obverse, 
with the near maple leaf on the reverse, then it's going to be worth even more money. So the two different uh, options for the reverse for the 1953 are the near and the far maple leaf. So the two varieties, one has the maple leaf that's situated very close to the rim, um, and the other with the maple leaf that it's further away from the rim. So I don't have the 1953 variety right here, but for this one, there's a kind of a significant gap in between the maple leaf and the rim. So this one wouldn't be the near rim. So what you're looking for again for that 1953 is no shoulder fold and near maple leaf rim. However, if you have any from 1953, they're gonna be worth a little bit more just because they had to split them up in four different ways. Now the next coin uh, in the list of two that I've got of uh, rare Canadian nickels to look for is the 1965 Large Beads. So as you can see going around the outside right here, there's, uh, there's beads that go around the outside. And then the Large Beads is a variety uh, in which there are only 119, uh, the Large Beads, there are 138 Large Beads around the rim and other uh, usual ones feature 119 small beads around the rim. The large beads variety is a valuable coin and comes in two different varieties. One where the jewel at the rear of the crown is detached and one where it's slightly attached. Uh, both are quite rare to find uh, and fetch several thousands at auction for mint state examples. So again, the 1965 large beads. The best way you can probably compare the sizes of them is to have them side by side and kind of look for do the beads on one of them look significantly larger than the others. And if it's dated 1965, you could have one that's worth a little bit more money. Now let's bring in two of those uh, coins that Cousin Evil, a uh, YouTuber, sent me. He sent me this one right here on the right and this one right here on the left. Now, he sent me some others, but these two I want to focus in on. As you might not have seen them before, the mintages on them are relatively low. So the one on the left actually just came out last year. So the one on the left is what's known as the Living Traditions. It's a circulating commemorative coin. Its value is $0.05, cents, but it was made to commemorate the 150th anniversary of Canada. So on the reverse right there, we see a uh, we see a turtle, I believe. So the I can't tell if it's a turtle or a platypus, but we see an animal right there. I'm sure I'll have to look this up a little bit more later, but we see an animal right there swimming to the left. Oh, it's probably a beaver. That would make more sense. So we see a beaver uh, swimming to the right. That's what we see right there. So this is a circulating commemorative coin that came out in 2017 to commemorate the 150th anniversary. So we've got the beaver, which makes a lot more sense. So the beaver right there, and then we see him uh, right here swimming to the right. And then this one right here is dated 1967. So this one commemorates the 150th anniversary, uh, the, excuse me, the 100th anniversary of Canada. And what you see on the reverse right here is a hopping rabbit. It's surrounded with the face value and inscription, Canada, and then 1867 at the bottom in 1967. So the inscription that you see on this one right here is 1867 and 2016. So 50 years later, we've got 1867, we've got uh, 50 years earlier, We've got 2017 and then 1967. All right, everyone, that's all I've got for today's video. If you are into coin collecting, please do check out some of the other videos on this channel. Hopefully this video was helpful on what Canadian nickels you should be looking for. Focus in on that 1953 as well as the 1965. Thank you very much and best of luck coin collecting out there, everyone. Enjoy.